I'm Mr. Crompton. This is the table saw safety video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the different parts of the machine, uh, where you can find them, uh, what they do, how they work, and then we'll be showing you how to safely operate the machine at the end. But first, we're going to talk about the different parts of the machine. So your first part of the machine over here, uh, this is your table saw. The table saw is used in ripping pieces of wood uh, along the grain. So it could also be used in cross cutting, and there's different processes you would have to do for each one of those, uh, for each one of those cuts. So the first, we're going to talk about the parts of the machine though. So your first part of the machine obviously is your table. That's why it's called a table saw. The table is where you will actually be laying your material to send it through and cut it. Uh, where is the blade, or what's actually going to cut the material is going to be the blade right here. The blade is a standard circular saw blade. Uh, there are teeth going around. You can get different teeth for different types of cuts. And this right now is a combination blade. This can be used for either cross cutting or ripping. The blade itself has little carbide tips on the end and those actually will become dull over time. So they can either be sharpened or you can replace the blade. But the blade will spin in a circular motion as you send your material through. On the back side here, this is a splitter. The splitter is used to separate the wood as you send it through so that you can be sure that the material doesn't clamp back down onto the blade and fling it back at you. There are also two pieces of metal on both sides of the splitter. Those are called anti-kickback pawls. And what those are for are to hold the material down, again, so it doesn't kick back. The part that folds down over the top, this is your guard. The guard stops you from putting your hand into the machine itself and stops you from cutting your fingers off, potentially. Uh, over here, you have the fence. The fence is used to guide the material through the saw to make sure that you are ripping in a straight line. You will need to have a straight edge of the material up against the fence to make sure that you're getting as smooth a cut as possible. Along the front of the table here, the fence can be adjusted to length. There is a scale across the front of the table to set the length to make sure that you're cutting at the right size. They are set specifically to the blade to make sure that if I set the scale at 12 inches, the blade is going to cut the material at 12 inches wide. The next thing that you have would be the adjustment for the height of the blade. The blade can be adjusted on the front. There is a wheel that you crank to raise the blade up and down. And there is actually a second wheel on the side of the machine that can be used to adjust the angle of the blade if you want to make an angular cut. On the front of the machine, you'll see the on-off switch. This particular saw has a two-stage system for on and off. The first thing you would have to do is flip on the switch that has the yellow uh, safety on it. And what that does is that actually will make the machine so that it's ready to cut. This particular machine is called a saw stop and it will actually send an electrical current through the blade that will stop the blade dead if it comes into contact with your, si with your skin. And that first stage will actually uh, activate that system. The second stage is the big paddle on the front. You will pull that out to turn the saw on and once you pull that out, the saw will actually start spinning and it's ready to cut. Um, another thing that you would be able to use would be a miter gauge and the miter gauge will travel along the channel on the machine. The miter gauge will allow you to cut angles on a piece of wood or it will actually allow you to cross cut a piece of wood which is cutting across the grain which is different than ripping. Ripping is cutting with the grain. So when operating the table saw, the most important thing as far as where you stand is you want to be away from a point of contact that if you run the piece of material through and it kicks back, it doesn't come back at you and it will go and fly into empty space. So when you're actually setting up to use this machine, you set the fence where you want it and then when you're setting the material through, you're going to stand off to this side of the fence to make sure that as you send the material through, if it does kick back, it will hit the fence and then fly back in that direction instead of if you were over here, it could fly back and hit you center mass, which would be very, very painful. Um, as far as setting up the machine, there's not a whole lot to it. You do have to adjust the height of the blade with the crank that we were discussing. And to do that, you will loosen the crank itself and then crank it up or down. The height of the blade can be set so that the teeth itself, the teeth of the blade, are even on the gullets with the top of the material. 
The other safety feature that you have when using this machine would be a push stick. And there are two different types of push sticks. Um, there are your big industrial push sticks, which can be bought in stores, or you can make your own push stick, which is slightly less intrusive. That's a personal preference call. But what the push stick is used for is you will actually clip it on to the back of the material that you're sending through as you're sending it through the machine to make sure that your fingers are far away from the blade and they're not going to come in contact with the blade. Um, any other safety? You don't want to have any kind of long jewelry hanging off because if you do, it could get caught in the blade itself and then rip down. Um, other than that, you just try as hard as you can to keep everything with your fingers or your hands away from the blade so that you don't come into contact with it. Uh, so next we're going to actually demonstrate how to cut with a table saw. Thank <sighs> you.